Hi, welcome to the session from educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the Hadoop installation setup. First of all, we are going to install the virtual machine setup and Cloudera Quick Start VM installation. Then what are the common issues which we are facing while setting up the Cloudera Quick Start VM and how to solve them. Third, you must require a virtualization software. You can use either the VirtualBox or the VMware. These two are the popular uh, virtualization softwares. In this, I'm going to show you how to install the Cloudera Quick Start VM with the help of the Oracle VirtualBox. So for that reason, we have to download that. So let me show you how to download your VirtualBox. Open your browser and here you can search for Oracle VirtualBox download. So once you click on the Oracle VirtualBox download, the first link you can see all the VirtualBox downloadables. So if you are having Windows machine, you can download the first one saying that the VirtualBox for the Windows host. And suppose if you are working on the Mac operating system, then you can choose the second one which is the VirtualBox for OS X host. So any of the things based upon your operating system, you can download. Just click on this. Mine is a window, so I am just clicking on the first one. Just click on that. It will take 2 minutes to download this particular thing. Here you can see VirtualBox hyphen, the version of the VirtualBox hyphen windows.exe. This is the .exe file which is going to be downloaded as part of your machine. So to install your virtual box, you just need to double click on that .exe file. You just accept the defaults, whatever the UI, whatever the defaults you are getting, you just accept that. You need not modify any further things. So just after your installation of your virtual box, you will be seeing Oracle VM virtual box. This is the icon which you can see on top of your screen. Just double click on that icon. You can see these things. So as this is my machine and where I am having in my left hand side is the older machine. But in here, you cannot see any of the machines over here. You must need to create it with the help of the new. But before creating the new machine, what we have to do is we have to install our Cloudera Quick Start VM downloadable as well. So now, as a first step, we have done with the installation, downloading of the virtual box, Oracle virtual box, and we installed by simply double clicking on that .exe file. And we have seen the icon on top of our screen, virtual box. And now, the next step, which we are downloading our Cloudera Quick Start VM. So how to download your Cloudera Quick Start VM? Open your browser and you can search for Cloudera Quick Start VM download. Why I am not sharing the link is nothing but they keep on updating the new versions of the Cloudera Quick Start VM. So if, you, if I have given you the current version link after a few months, that link will be not accessible. That is the reason why. Like this, you can go to your Google and search for Cloudera Quick Start VM download. Now you can see this, all the latest versions of the downloads. Here are the latest ones, which is the 5.8 and 5.7. 5.8 is the very latest one. It is So you can go ahead with the 5.7. Just choose that 5.7. And now it will ask you to choose a platform. Platform is nothing but either you wanted to use the, this downloadable on top of the virtual box or the VMware. This Docker image in the KVM is also another type of the virtualization software. So in our first step, we have downloaded the virtual box. So here I can simply choose the virtual box and the version as a Cloudera Quick Start VM 5.7. We're all set. Just click on the download now option. And now, 
download you must need to enter your enter this particular form and then accept the licenses so just give your uh, digits whatever your first name last name and business company and it will not be used it afterwards but you can just enter whatever the details you wanted to fill it out over here once it is done it is just ask you to enter about your uh, the licenses just accept the licenses so after download and you can see this uh, cloudera quick start vm hyphen the version dot virtual box dot zip file gets downloaded this looks like highlighted ones and it looks like this cloudera quick start vm and the version number slash this uh, virtual box this is the zip file which gets downloaded what you have to do is you have to unzip it so cloud error recommends to use the 7 zip for the windows user and for the mac user if you have any other uh, unzipping software you can use it and just right click on this zip file 7 zip and extract so this extract is also takes at least 15 minutes because this is a very bigger file even to download this file also take a lot of time and once you unzip unzip it you can see these uh, uh, two files. One is the open virtualization format, o OVF format. The another one is a VMD, virtual machine disk format. There are the two files which gets uh, you know displayed to you after the unzip. So this seven zip software is very easy to download and install. Just click on the download seven zip, search for the download seven zip, and you can come here. You can download uh, your uh, 7 bit file.exe file based upon whether you are having a 32 bit windows or 64 bit windows. Most of our latest machines are the 64 bit windows operating system. So you can simply double click on this download. Click on this download. The uh, exe file gets downloaded. To install, just double click on that exe and uh, accept the whatever you know, it gets displayed as part of the GUI. So now we are done with the downloading and installing of the Oracle Virtual Box. And in the second step, we have also successfully downloaded our Cloudera Quick Start VM for the Virtual Box. And we have extracted with the help of the 7 zip as well. So now what we have to do is we have to create a machine inside our uh, Oracle Virtual Box with the help of the the downloadables of your Cloudera Quick Start VM. To do that, what we need to do is we can simply click on the Oracle VM Virtual Box, this icon, and it displays over here. There is a new button. Just click on that new button, and you can enter the name as any name you can give. I'm just giving it as a Cloudera Quick Start VM. So here, as a type, you have to choose it as a Linux, the version as a Ubuntu 64 bit. And for few of them, if you are not able to see the 64 bit versions, there is a problem with your BIOS settings. So in the last slide, in the last slide, which I'm going to talk about how to uh, solve your uh, the issue with the BIOS settings. After choosing this, just select this. Uh, memory size as a 4 GB of the RAM which we are giving it and to make sure that you will be having a proper RAM size otherwise you will be seeing the performance degradation issues and also you will be seeing the issues with the blank screen issues as well so the minimum requirement is a 4 GB to your uh, virtual machine so for your entire Windows or Mac operating system at least if you are having the 6 GB or 8 GB of the RAM then you can give the 4 GB to this virtual machine so that rest of the 2 GB will be exist for your uh, Windows host. Just click on next. Now here you have to give it as a hard disk. Choose a hard disk as a existing virtual hard disk. And once you choose the existing virtual hard disk, you have to choose the file. Here click on this drop down and choose the file where exactly you have extracted your uh, 7 zip files uh, where exactly you have extracted your cloudera quick start vm zip file 
with the help of the seven rays. I have clicked on that folder icon, and now I went through the uh, the folder where I have extracted the files. So now I am choosing this VMDK file, Cloud Data Quick Start VM version icon Excel box. That's it. You can simply click on Create. So it will take some time. Once you start the machine, see this. You can see in your left hand side, Cloud Era Quick Start VM has been created. You want to start it? Just click on Start. So it will take for the first time at least five to ten minutes to start your virtual machine. And once it is successfully logged in, you can see a screen called Cloud Era Quick Start VM. And this is the screen after it comes up, uh, after 5 minutes of starting our Cloud Era Quick Start VM. The time also depends on your, what is the RAM size which you are having and how many CPUs which you have given. Right, this is the initial page which will be displayed to you. So to get this, majorly we have installed our virtual box and then we have downloaded our Cloud Era Quick Start VM. And we have set up our uh, uh, Cloud Era Quick Start VM by clicking on the new and we have chosen uh, the name, operating system, memory size, and even the VMDK file as well. These are the things which we have done. So now, let's discuss what could be the probable issues which you will be facing it while you are setting up your uh, Cloud Era Quick Start VM. So the first thing, at the time of setting up your uh, Cloud Era Quick Start VM, you will not be uh, seeing a 64 bit operating system. You can see only all of them are the 32 bit versions itself. That is the one of the thing. And the another thing is after you entering all the details and after starting the machine, your Cloud Era Quick Start VM will be in the blank screen itself. It will not, it will never even show you that uh, the screen which I showed you just now. Is consisting of the Cloud Era page and all of these things. So, what is the solution to the above issues? Is nothing but there is something called a virtualization. By default, the virtualization is disabled for your operating system. So, what you have to do is you must need to enable the virtualizations. From where is there is something called a BIOS setting option. At the time of restarting your machine, if you take your machine to the special status. And it will be going into the BIOS setting there you can enable. So let me show you the steps on how to do this BIOS setting. Okay. Each and every operating system is different to set up your BIOS setting. So you can simply enter enable virtualization BIOS settings and you can give your Windows version or whatever the operating system which you are having it because it is differs for each and every operating system. You can simply go ahead and uh, see how to enable your, uh, uh, you know, the virtualization things. Summary. So in this module, we have seen how to download the virtual box and also how to install the virtual box. And then we have downloaded the Cloud Era Quick Start VM and we have used the 7 zip to extract this particular Cloud Era Quick Start VM. And then we have created a new virtual machine under the Oracle virtual box by giving the name, operating system, and uh, how much memory we require. And also we have given the BMDK file. And after we are creating this, we just click on the start. So it automatically starts up your page. And if you are having any of the blank screen issues or, or if you are seeing only the 32 bit versions, you must need to enable the virtualization under the BIOS settings. This can be done with the help of while you are restarting your machine, you can take machine to the special state. From the advanced settings, you can change this. So it differs from each and every operating systems. I recommend you to search with your enable virtualization with your Windows 10 or Mac or whatever the operating system version which you are having it. This is how you can log into your uh, Cloud Era Quick Start VM. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.